Okay, so this is how RDB Link works. Um, I have this very simple project set up just to give you an, an idea of how it works. So I just have this basic layout with these columns. Um, each of the columns is a, a family with a, a blend so I can vary the, the bottom and the top. And so in the project, um, one of the, the critical things is to ensure that the each of the shared parameters that I have associated with this column family are registered um, as shared parameters um, in the project and are associated with the proper category, in this case column. This is critical for um, these parameters to show up in the database when I export it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm in the project and I'm going to go to add-ins. I've got um, RDB link loaded. I have a um, ODBC um, connection set up to this database. So I'm just going to do export. Okay, now that the database is exported, I can actually open it up and access. And um, the nice thing about this is that I don't actually have. I can actually have access open while that's exporting, and the database is exported live. And so what you see here is that you have a table, basically, for each um, element, and then for each element type. And that's essentially um, how the database is exported. So if I open um, columns. You'll see my columns listed here, and you'll see type ID and various um, parameters related to the columns. And then, if I open the actually column types, you'll see these are the shared parameters I have registered with um, the with this family. And so, you'll see that it does some strange things with rounding, and I'm not exactly sure why. So, the next step of what I'm going to do is let's say, okay, I have these um, parameters registered for the width and the, and the depth of the column uh, for each level. And so what I want to do is then update these values from a spreadsheet. So I have this spreadsheet set up in Excel. Um, I've made some modifications to them and I've linked in the spreadsheet into Access. So now anytime I make changes to the spreadsheet, let's say export from another application the, um, the data and go back to access that data is linked in live. Now the, the trick here is okay how do I update a bunch of these parameters um, in an automated way. So the way I do that is I set up an update query. And this is fairly easy to do. I mean we're, we're kind of in this area now where we're not exactly you know writing an API application but we're in sort of pseudo scripting in a sense. But it's, it's pretty simple and learning access is, is a lot simpler than trying to learn let's say C sharp or something. And so basically all I want to do, um, all this, this update query says is that um, for each of these, um, each of the values in, in the table column types, take the value from ex the Excel spreadsheet and assign that into that table. And do that all the way over on the right here. Do that anywhere where um, column types equals blend column, which is the name of my um, the name of my family. Okay, so basically all I want to do now is I've got that query set up, and I click run, and it's going to tell me that um, it's going to warn me that I'm going to be updating ta um, rows in the in the database, and I say okay, yes, okay, you're about to update rows, yes, and now that database, that table has been updated. If I go up to column types and you know you can't necessarily see it but the values have been updated with from the spreadsheet. Now you actually get to see the results. So what I'll do is um, I'll go back into my project. Let's just kind of go to a view here. And now what I want to do is go back to add-ins, go to RDB link, Go back to that connection that I have called column test, and now I'm going to do edit and import. Now what this is going to do is it's going to open up um, a dialog which allows me to preview the changes before I actually make them. And what's what's cool about this dialog 
is not only can I preview the changes, but if I go into my um, column types here, this is live. I can actually make changes as well. So I mean, it won't be very automated, but if let's say I want to go in here and make some adjustments, I can. So once I preview what I have, I say okay. And then there it is, columns have been updated. So basically um, what this means is that in, in a limited way, because it doesn't export every single um, parameter possible, I'm still exploring some of the limitations of this, but basically what this means is that you can drive uh, parameters in an automated way from a set of data that you have living outside of Revit in the form of a CSV file or an Excel spreadsheet um, the only limitations you have are you have to run it through this access database, which is sort of your your conduit into the Revit file. But it's a live conduit, so you can actually drive these values um, in an automated way, which is pretty cool. So this is a pretty simple file, but you can, I think, start to see some of the implications of what you could do um, with this with this functionality. So it's pretty cool. So one other quick thing that I think may be really useful to you, I was at a customer site recently and they wanted to be able to modify slightly various um, floor to floor heights, but they wanted to be able to drive that um, from a schedule. So you can't do that in Revit, but what you can do is using RDB link, so I'm in here in an elevation view, and you know, I've, I just have sort of 10 feet between each of these levels. Now I'm not gonna go through the whole database um, exercise, but I'll just show you go into RDB link and um, import now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to levels and you see here's the elevations for each of these and here's that kind of weird rounding that it's doing I'm not sure why but basically what I want to do is I'm going to change and make these um, you know Let's see, I'm going to make this 22 feet, and I'm going to make this 32 feet, and I'm going to make this 42 feet, you know, it's just sort of arbitrary, but you get the idea. Now I'm going to say OK. And boom, those levels are changed. So you start to see the idea here is that, um, once again, just like with the column width and height and depths, um, I'm able to actually drive a parameter such as level height um, from a set of data outside of Revit, whereas I wouldn't have been able to do that with a traditional schedule. So um, this is just the beginning of my exploration into RDB link. Um, I'd appreciate any comments on if you guys have played with this or what or sort of uh, thoughts you have on how you maybe you could put this to use in your own work. Thanks.